Hey everyone, welcome back to Greg Tech New Horizons. Currently trying to craft a precision laser engraver, maybe? Yes, correct guess. So let's put the emitter together. There we go, quest complete and stuff that with some other parts. Those, by the way, are my last good circuits. So that will be the last MB machine I am making for some time as the circuits are pretty expensive, especially the diodes. That quest is complete as well. Which one do we want? I think the diamond one probably. Let's claim that. And that is pretty much exactly what I want to make. So let me quickly set up this engraver. I might actually need some more MB circuits since I also need a combustion generator. Oh man, I actually don't need any more gallium or whatever. This stuff right here because I can use some wafers, some fine annealed copper wire as well as some polyethylene, all stuff that we now have and can make diodes very cheaply. Here we go, it's working pretty well. I'm only getting two for one recipe though since I'm using normal fine copper wire. I could probably make the other type and get twice the amount. But for now, the amount of diodes I'm getting should be good enough, especially because the wafers are pretty easy to produce, and so is the polyethylene. If we quickly check up right here, we have quite a supply of it, almost 37 stacks, which is really quite a lot. But I just ran out of electric motors again, this time the MB motors, which are kind of difficult to make since I need to run a lot of materials through the wire mill right here, since I ran out of copper wires as well as the cupro nickel wires, for which I need cupro nickel, but that's not a problem since we have some copper and some nickel. However, I'm debating putting in the next of these machine um, setups, machine walls, they're not technically walls, but another one for the wire mills right here might be a good idea. Oh my goodness, this again? <laughs> it's like the fifth time. I think I'm just going to... Just going to leave them here. Just not bother anymore. I'm going to make my combustion generators and just... Just leave them alone. I don't have any fighting chance whatsoever anyways. After way too long 30 minutes, I finally have my combustion generator. And it's an advanced one. I hope that's the right current, I'm pretty sure it is, so let's climb up here and hook it up as well. Great, um, it's it's very well set up right here. Uh, where is my generator? Up there, so let's connect to here, here, and then connect it all up with the wrench. That should now work, and our precision laser engraver should be all set up now. Well, we actually still need some lenses, and... That would not be too difficult since we can get the lenses out of plates right here. However, we need 120U per tick and I only have a basic lathe. So we need yet another MB machine that I'm probably going to hook up just over there. I have both the green sapphire plate and the ruby plate since we need both those lenses for these two. Then we just need probably a better cutting machine for these two and then that quest should be completed. Luckily, I made some extra combustion generators and the ones. I don't know why I'm sorting that out. Quickly made the advanced lathe. Now I just need to hook it up right over here, which should be simple enough. Both lenses are now made. As you can see, the ruby one is in there. Also had to make some new wafers. Actually made those in the cutting machine and some are still burning in the blast furnace. But look at the amazing animation of the lathe. It's looking really, really cool. I currently have the green sapphire lens in there. It's very slow, but at some point I will process all of these eight wafers into whatever I get out of it. And then I'll put in the eight ones over here with the ruby lens and get the other one out of it. The animation is finished and we have all of what we need, even more than what we need. So if we quickly go back to the quest that we want to complete up here. That is just part one. I believe I actually need a better cutting machine for that. Yes, I need the advanced cutting machine, but at least we got that quest updated. Going to add in a few chests down here, similar to how we have it in the other setups, where we have some input chests and then have our output chest. The output chest is already installed, 
but now we just need to have the input chests as well. I seemingly already made it. So there we go, that's a nice surprise. I also have some advanced combustion generators already made, so we can instantly hook it up, I think. Um, we might need some cables though. Just going to put it, I kind of want to put it down low, but for symmetry reasons, we have to put it up here, advanced combustion generator, then the cutting machine, connect it up, and now also have to get a water tank to fill this thing up as well. There we go, very awkwardly positioned right next to my bees, which by the way, one more common walnut sapling away from finally having a tree, and it's been taking hours. With the noble bees though, I haven't made any progress whatsoever. I got one purebred diligent drone and some one hybrid right here, diligent noble and a diligent common and another one here. And here is my advanced cutting machine. So let me stuff some wafers in there and then we should be able to complete the quest. Here we go, 32 and 24, that should be more than enough. I think we just needed eight each, if I remember correctly. Yes, eight each, and since we have both of these lenses already, let's maybe just go for a loot back since I already chose the diamond lens and get out of here. What is next? Basic circuit assembly, I already have that. Let's quickly get that one though because we have it hanging out, I believe, right here. Yes, um, let's also take out the contents. Going to lose a little bit of tin, but that's not too, too bad. Quest complete, I'm guessing that was a main quest. New copper, or oh, we're definitely going to take the electrum. And integrated circuits that way. I think we might have most of the ingredients right here. Potentially, I'm already ready to complete the quest since we have some setup down here, which I have had running for quite some time. So we can take a stack of here, take a stack of here, and that should update the quest, which is good news. Now we just need to put it into a, I believe, circuit assembler, maybe. Um, I'll look for the right one. We might need some liquids as well, so let me put that together quickly. Don't quite know how much of what we need, but that should be good enough. Stuff some tin in there, tin usually works, and it works in this case as well. Just very, very slowly. I also have power problems, apparently. I might have to fix those next up, but I have some better ideas for making circuits very soon. We'll have to see when we actually do that, since we currently have a lot of projects on our hands. We have witchery, which I kind of can't pursue currently, since I lost my witch's oven somewhere, so I have to make a new one. We also have our, what is it, common walnuts we're currently breeding? Yes, we just need one more. And then I want to tackle the power setup straight away since I don't want to pump any more oil. And after that, I also have a new bee right here, which is the diligent bees. We actually need the noble ones, but the diligent ones should come up in the quest book next. So as soon as we get the common walnut sapling though, that is definitely going to be the next thing that we do. Since we were just doing a little bit of bee stuff, I installed a new machine over here, which would be a basic assembling machine. If we put in a programmed circuit with the nine, we have some order from the side, we can now finally complete our quest. That is the same order for our cutting machine. That's the reason why I put the assembling machine over here. I think that pipe is not connected up there. Can I quickly fix that or am I short a few blocks? Very difficult to aim, but that should be fixed now. Then it's just a waiting game. A very short one in fact. So here we go, 25, even one more than we needed. And we can get a lot of stuff actually. That is all ours now. So upgrading backpacks, stickers, miners, we might do that, not too sure. We actually don't need to craft all of the armor since I have a lot of the apiary stuff already in this chest up here. I think, yes, we just need the helmet. So let me figure out the correct circuit to use in order to assemble that. Well, actually no can do. We need more voltage, so that is going to have to wait a little bit. At least we got three quarters of the set. I'm not really too worried about getting the full set since we don't really need it other than our jungle bees, 
but I'm not visiting those really anyway if I'm not checking for the leaves, which usually goes over pretty quickly. Oh, and let's also open this bag together since I've been opening a lot of them without you, but I believe we only got the impregnated frames and only two of them as well. However, that might actually be enough. No, we need three, so not enough. I recrafted our witch's oven so we could continue with witchery while we wait. We also have a new friend over here. I don't know why he's not attacking me and not really moving at all, but I'm not going to question it. So what do we need to do in witchery next up is to get some new tandis. And for that, we need some exhale of the horned one, which is oak wood in the witch's oven. We need some mandrakes as well as some eggs. And for the eggs, I just trapped some chickens right here, which should get me at least a few eggs. There's currently just four of them in there, and I think one isn't even grown up. So it's not too fast, but it should be good enough. So I'm not too sure. I feel like the order matters with this. So mutandis, how do you spell it? Um, mandrake, okay, so I have it in the right order. Let's just cue it in, I guess. That's not doing anything. Well, then I might have to read up on this, actually. The Thalmonomicon actually only has information on the kettle, which I believe is the advanced cauldron, but that kettle needs... Why wasn't that working? A little bit concerned, that kettle needs fire and water, so we can stuff our things in here. And then we actually need a bottle still. So I thought we could go without a bottle in the cauldron. I might have to hurry here. So let me, oh no, I actually don't need a bottle. Great, then let's repeat that process a few more times. Since witchery doesn't seem to be one of the main mods, some people might not actually know what I'm doing with witchery. So I just got some mutandas. And what you do with mutandas is you click it on grass or saplings or basically anything nature related and you can transform that into witchery stuff as well as sometimes you get just vanilla stuff and then you can click it again. And what you want to get is all of the witchery items. For example, right here we got ember moss, I got some Spanish moss over here and already got some rowan saplings. And the saplings, uh, especially the rowan, is pretty important. There are multiple of them and we want to stuff those in the witch's oven in order to get more of the exhales. Great, more bats. The bats have just become something I tolerate. There is such a common occurrence that it really isn't worth the time killing them. But I got some shears so we can actually collect most of the stuff. Uh, the Spanish moss we have to place against the block. We're probably just going to use our unused wall on the building right here. Just going to span that with Spanish moss. It's going to spread. I don't know if it spreads upwards, but I know it spreads really, really violently. Same with the amber moss, we just have to plant it somewhere and it's going to definitely spread. Just like that. And kill my bats as well. Made a little bit more mutandus and I believe we might have all of the items that we need. We got galint wheat, which also spreads like amber moss. You can see it already spread right here since we have two next to each other. I got some more saplings as well. We got the alder sapling as well as the ha hawthorn. I think I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, or maybe not, I'm not too sure. But we got some more saplings, just going to plant these around. Later on, we're going to change out my tree farm for different saplings. Currently, I just installed birch trees since we need a lot more birch saplings, as we have quite a few oak saplings already. As you can see right here, we have three entirely filled barrels already, and this one is starting to fill up. With the birch, we're coming along very slowly. It's wasting a lot of the saplings on the ground since I believe the leaves are just spawning too fast. But we got some. I'm often just taking things out right there and then just stuff it in the witch's oven since that's a little bit more quick. The next thing we want to get is actually the witch's altar. It should be here somewhere. Give me a second, right here. It's the altar and the candelabra. And for the altar, we need the roan wood but we also need some of the arcane stones. So we need to do a little bit of thumb crafting. And I found one key on my keyboard does this right here. It's the I key. I don't know if that's remapped. I don't know if I did that at some point, but it displays probably every note that I've scanned so far. 
So I have a list right here of all the nodes that I have ever scanned with the corresponding coordinates. So I can just go ahead. Okay, what do I need in my wand? I currently need uh, Predito. So I press I, look for Predito nodes, and then can see that at these coordinates, I have a Predito node, which is really, really useful. If I press mark, let's quickly try that right here. That did nothing. It might have found a node in a different dimension, though. I think I just figured it out. Actually, I have to where the goggles are revealing. And then I have a compass. And that says we're 2,500 blocks away. And I'm guessing that the larger arrow right there is the way I have to go since the blocks are decreasing. And I don't know what below is. Oh, below it's probably the, the Y level that I'm on. Okay, that's good to know. Let's see where I actually end up and if I find the note that I am looking for. 2,000 blocks is actually a lot farther than I thought, so let's just uh, choose that one instead since that's only 400, around 500 blocks away. I think it's that node right there. 14, and I believe the above. Let's just try the below. Um... Either it's not that node or it's not registering correctly. Oh, it's above me. Oh, I get it. I'm not above it. It is above me. So if I, yeah, that that is actually it. So let me get my wand, look for a few more nodes to fill up the rest of my wands. And I wonder, does it update right here? Uh, no, it still says that it has 31 Predito. So if I completely drain Predito, like, not that, maybe here? No, but I completely drained air. Um, it still displays it, so that might change, I'm not too sure. Going to observe that though and get a few more notes going. Let's also test another theory. If I don't have the note scanned, as you can see it's not scanned right now, it should not appear in here, and only if I scan it will it appear, right? Yes, that works. Good, then I actually should keep this thermometer on me at all times when I'm hunting for notes, even though I have the goggles of revealing now. And six altar blocks. Please be six. Yes, enough mana. Net mana. Um, charge. This. There we go. Uh, quest complete. Offerings. Let's claim that stuff. What's next? A kettle. But first of all, let's place down the altar. I thought that we would place it down here since we have a lot of greenery around and the altar is dependent on greenery. And how much charge do we have? 1.4, that's not that great. But I believe a candelabra will increase it maybe? No, it just increases the rate. Oh, and it also has particles now. Very fancy. Let's also place the Arthana on it. I think that's how you do that. And that re didn't really do much. It might increase the range of the altar since we need to have an altar in range for some of the witchery stuff. And that Arthana might increase the range of it. Might have found a little bug right here. Let's try to break the altar. We got one Arthana. Let's place the... Now we got two. Okay, that was my suspicion. There is a way to duplicate these Arthanas or items on the altar. Let's try to place, can we place anything else on there? Seemingly just the Arthana, but if we break the altar then, pick everything up, we have a extra Arthana. So that is a bug. Going to throw my extra Arthanas away. I also wanted to test something with mob heads since I know those increase the amount. Uh, one more, sure. Um, do I just have infinite in my hand? There might be another one right there in my hand still. Okay, maybe not. Good. Then let's try to place some heads on here. I think the skeleton one will be the best. Uh, by the way, we got 1.8 seemingly. Let's try it with the skeleton skull. Yeah, that boosted it. So let's place that skeleton skull in the proper spot. And then we have a little bit more. Where's my skull? There we go. And looking fancy. Not too sure if this is going to replace our cauldron or if it's like an extra item. Uh, its main purpose is to brew potions and infusions. Good to know. Spinning wheel would be next, and that seems pretty simple as well.
Spinning a wheel right here. Quest is complete. Claim. I don't actually know what we're doing, to be quite frank. But that opened up a lot of options. So I'm guessing let me read through some of these. Did a little bit of redecorating in here. As you can see, we have our altar in here now. We have the kettle in this spot. And I moved the witch's oven to up there. Looking decent, at least decent. What I wanted to try out was... That actually doesn't work. Okay, then we have to actually watch the order. That should give us a potion of combustion. And it told me to not shake it much. I don't quite know how you shake something. But I will just try jumping up and down, I guess. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to try hitting and then right clicking. So... Does this do anything? Because that would be what I would consider shaking. But nothing is happening. Then let's hit it. That's also what I would consider shaking. Then let's right click it. That's not doing anything. I have no idea how to even shake it. What I'm supposed not to do, I guess. Uh, getting basic fumes. Fumes extraction is an essential thing you can do. You'll need a lot of those on your journey. Those shouldn't be too difficult to get. There is a recipe for foul fume with oak wood, some clay jars, and the witch's oven, but that seemingly doesn't work, so we have to use the alternate recipe. As you can see right here, that is supposed to make charcoal and foul fume, but it's not working, probably disabled, so we have to use the distillery with Breath of the Goddess, which is birch saplings, some lapis, and a few clay jars. Therefore, I made the distillery. Just don't quite know where to put it. Probably just there will be good. I still need the clay jars as well as the lapis and the breath of the goddess, so I should probably prepare a little bit better. I just went ahead and made all of the fumes that we need. That should be foul fume. We needed that and I believe oil of vitriol. If you're wondering how I got the quick climb, that is just calcite in a chemical reactor, I believe. And we actually need exhaled of the whole and one, so the oak sapling thing, not the birch one. Let's claim that, and that seems to be the way we are supposed to go, since these are repeatable quests, so we don't actually need to do those right now. That one we should do, though, and this one as well. But for that, we need to slay a demon, five demons, not just one. And for that one, we need to slay a goblin. So let's continue down this way. For what we need is some chalk and the circle talisman. I think I messed up here. It's not doing anything. It's supposed to do something. I made this recipe. Am I doing something wrong? Am I supposed to wait a little bit longer? What's happening? I'm a little bit confused. I'm going to wait here for around a minute. And if nothing happens, I just wasted an ender pearl. Not too sure how much footage I'm actually going to include, but this is the fourth time that I'm actually trying this. And now, I think it should work. I think... I think so, I hope so, if Greg Tech hasn't changed everything. So in a few seconds, this should give me my chalk. Um, I'll cut if it doesn't work again, I'm going to cry. I'm blaming Greg Tech on this one. On the wiki it actually says that it needs 2000 ultra power. We have an altar right here, it has 2100. I redid the recipe once the altar was built. I actually broke the entire cauldron and redid the recipe, so there shouldn't be any issues there. Therefore, I am blaming Rectech. Probably tweaked something that we need more altar power, so I'm going to get that going right now. I'm pretty sure that logs actually increase the altar. Yeah, there we go, that's proof of that. And leaves? Leaves might not do it. They do. Okay, so we can place both of those underground somewhere just in range of the altar. I don't quite know which range that's going to be, but just digging down a few blocks, emptying out a space, and then putting them there should be good enough. I wonder, I just reached the cap on oak locks, so if I place any more oak locks, it's not going to increase the power of the altar. For example, right here. But if I place some birch logs, will that maybe still increase it? 
The answer is uncertain. Uh, the answer is no. Does that also apply for witchery logs? Question. Answer is no, so we can't place some witchery logs in here. That is good news, but I actually don't have that many of them. I think I just noticed someone who wants to say hello, and we might have just invited another guest by cutting down that log. You might have seen the particles, and not going to keep you waiting any longer, but I am going to equip a weapon since he is going to want to kill me. Right there, that dude. And we should have another one, I would think. Yeah, right over here. So let's kill those dudes. Oh, they are more, more, more health than I thought. But less damage than I thought as well. So we should be able to kill him. And then the other dude, and they should drop a branch, I believe. Or just saplings? No, end twig. And we're going to get another one from that guy over there.